A quick word about hyperlexia. Now, hyperlexia is a term coined by Norman and Margaret Silberberg in the 1960s, 1967 in fact, and on the surface it simply relates to people, children, people, who have got hyper-reading abilities, hyperlexia. So in that respect it sounds like the opposite of dyslexia, hyperlexia, dyslexia. Kids with extremely well-advanced reading skills. There's a couple of different types of people with hyperlexia. There's what you might think of as neurotypical children, whatever neurotypical means, and there's kids who display autistic tendencies, or kids on the autism spectrum will be hyperlexic. About 80-something percent of hyperlexic kids are on the autistic spectrum. But hyperlexia is more than simply good reading. What it really is, is really advanced phonological decoding abilities. So you can phonologically decode, you can phonologically encode, and you can phonologically blend. And essentially you can phonologically manipulate. You've got highly developed phonological processing abilities. But of course phonological processing isn't the same as reading. So it's possible to read with no phonological processing at all. Imagine, for instance, you're reading hieroglyphs. There's no phonological processing going, going on with that, but there's reading. So we have to split the idea of reading from the idea of phonological processing, phonological decoding, phonological blending, phonological manipulation, that sort of thing. And what we we'll find is that a lot of kids who are hyperlexic may be able to decode really well. They'll be able to know what the sounds of letters are but they might not have advanced comprehension. They might have delayed comprehension or poor comprehension. This fits really nicely with the idea that often kids with hyperlexia have got some form of language disorder or speech and language disorder or they've got visual spatial learning problems. So language disorder may include something like dyslexia but it may include um, articulation problems and visual spatial learning problems may mean that there's executive function issues or there are issues with motor skills or with judging distance or with judging directionality or with concepts of mathematics and mathematics is quite visual if you think about it so this kind of thing so kids with visual spatial processing disorder may find that that learning is difficult even though they're hyperlexic and hyperlexia is sort of linked with this visual spatial processing. Similarly, kids who are hyperlexic are often linked with kids with language, uh, speech and language disorders. So when we talk about hyperlexia, it's really important to remember that it's not simply advanced reading. When people say, oh, she's hyperlexic or he's hyperlexic, they may mean it to say, this kid can read really well, this child is really advanced in reading. And indeed, a lot of hyperlexic kids children show real interest in reading from a very early stage so it's very easy to see that but you can't really say whether someone's hyperlexic until you get that distinction between the phonological decoding and what it is to be able to read because a lot of hyperlexic kids may be able to phonologically decode really really well but they might find that reading and reading comprehension well they lag quite a long way behind